what's up you guys my name is Vivian from the paper letter blog today I'm actually doing uh, something I don't think I've ever done before um, I'm actually combining two types of videos that I've done before into one video I'm going to show you some outgoing mail and then I also want to decorate the envelope on camera stop laughing focus okay so if you've already seen my P.O. Box announcement video, you already know what this is. This is my little tin uh, with all of the teas that I want to try from pen pal letters or swaps. Um, what I want to do is I want to, because I've, I've been hoarding them as you can see for all these months, and now I want to drink one whenever I do a video with some tea on the side. I don't know which one to pick. I'm going for, no, not mint tea. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for mint tea. I'm going for... Why is everything mint? I'm going for. Oh, I could use this. I don't know who I got this from, but this is Puka Ginseng Matcha Green. So that will, because I need some extra energy. Also, by the way, if you feel, if you hear any random background noises, my boyfriend is currently home. And I have a cat hair in my tea. What else is new? <laughs> my boyfriend is currently home and, um, so you can blame him for any random uh, background coughs or sneezes or whatever. And it also makes talking to a camera a little bit more awkward because I usually film when I'm home alone. And then I can just be weird and, you know, later on edit the video and cut out the parts that I don't like. And now that I actually have someone listening, it's a little bit more uh, challenging. But um, hopefully this will be entertaining. Um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to chat with you guys a little bit first, you know, the usual drill, and then I will show you um, this outgoing Happy Meal that I'm actually really, really pleased with, and then I will decorate the video, and when I, I mean, <sighs> decorate the video, listen to me, and then I will decorate the outgoing meal, the outgoing envelope, I mean, I need to slow down, I will decorate the envelope with you guys on camera, and I will do that either with music or with music and a voiceover because today has been such a tiring day and um, I could use some quiet craft time without having to worry about chatting to the camera. But I do love chatting to the camera. Time first. I realized today that I actually tell you guys here on YouTube more than I tell my friends because I realized that I haven't updated my friends on any of the recent things that happened in my life. I haven't told my friends about the P.O. box I got. I haven't told them about the Cat Cafe updates. I haven't told them, I haven't even told them, I think I told some of them, but not all of them, that we're looking for a house. And I haven't updated them um, about my doctor's appointments and that I am currently waiting for an appointment uh, with a specialist for me always being so tired. So, <laughs> Just so you know, you guys actually know more than my real life friends, which is kind of stupid, but uh, I mean, I hope that you appreciate that. Okay, so like I just said, we have had, like today has been a crazy busy day. And I want to tell you about that first a little bit because, you know, I like sharing that with you guys. I actually have something to show you this time um, because, like I just said, we have been house hunting. And today we actually visited two houses and I also did a lot of things on the side, which maybe I shouldn't have done. Like I did the cleaning and the groceries and the cooking and everything and maybe I should have Whew, had a little more quiet day. <clears throat> but actually the first house we looked at was not that special. We didn't really fall in love with it. The second house, however, which is this house, we sort of um, kind of loved it. The only problem is the garden, which you see here, because now it looks kind of sunny, but it's actually quite dark because the sunlight is completely blocked. It's really small and that was such a setback for the house, such a negative point that we decided that we would not go for this house, but it's really, really beautiful. Maybe you like seeing this. Look, this is the big bedroom. Very pretty. Mm, this is weird. One of the bedrooms is not on the pictures. Okay, so there was this bedroom. Then there was a second room, which was nice, but had no sunlight. And then there was this small bedroom. And I could totally picture myself crafting there. <laughs> like, if we would get this house, this would definitely be my craft room. 
you have the, the windows here with the light coming in there's a desk behind this closet and I would totally set up my filming space there so I had the natural light and all the space for my craft supplies and that was really cool and what I also really liked about this house was this um, kitchen how beautiful is that oh I don't know I'm kind of sad if the garden would have been better then we totally would have tried to go for this house but yeah I thought maybe you, um, you guys like house hunting as much as I do. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that. And um, also quickly want to say something um, because I'm filming this on Wednesday, which is the day after I got the PO box. I don't know when I will be uploading this video, but I just wanted to quickly say something about my PO box video because the response has been literally mind blowing. You guys are so kind and so sweet. and. I seriously did not expect so many of you to reply to that video. I didn't expect so many of you to say that you would actually be sending me mail. Um, I got this... I got this um, folder to store the PO box mail in. And it has six slots, basically. It has six... Um, how do you say that? Six folders. And I thought that that would be enough. Because I want to, like I said in the PO box video, I will receive mail and then I will use a random number generator to see which ones I will uh, make mail for. Obviously I would love to reply to all of you, but just in case I cannot reply to everyone, I just want to sort of protect myself by, um, you know, setting a guideline for that. <laughs> and I, I bought this folder with six slots and I thought that would be enough and now if I read all of your comments I'm going to need four more of those folders and that's just amazing. I really did not expect that and it makes me so happy. So I really want to thank you for all the positive vibes coming my way. And now I want to talk to you about actually the meal that I'm going to make because we have this meal and then I'm going to... Um, it didn't fit, like this is too wide. I didn't measure it like that, I just made it and then afterwards checked for an envelope. It's too wide to fit in a normal envelope. So I will need an A5 sized one. And I also have these in white, but I don't know. I thought using a craft paper one would be nicer because I have some ideas, but I will show you that in a second. First, I'm going to show you the outgoing mail because I made a little um, what's this called? Envelope flip book. I don't know, I think you're supposed to close them like that. And I made one before. Look, I made one before and in that one I actually glued the envelopes immediately. Like I glued this envelope there. So there was no space for closing it. And this time I actually gave it some extra space and it's still too bulky to close. <laughs> so I did learn from my mistake but it's... I just put in too many goodies, but I actually quite like having it like this. So then you have the front page. This was actually, I made this as like a front page. It says, hello dear Roxanne. And then you have this collage here. And I quite like it like this. I can send it like that. And it will fit in this envelope. Uh, so what I did is I, I used um, these four different papers from a paper pack that I bought at the action store. I did a, an, a haul video if you want to see that. I'll show you the back first. So, um, okay, this is actually a vintage book paper. Um, I put it upside down because it always distracts me when you have words, like sentences that you can read. So I will usually put it at an angle or put it upside down because for example, this one has the words um, in like normal, you know, like horizontal, and then you can start reading. Lived on the small next, lived on the small table next to the chairs. Began stroking her hat, her head, and then you know you get distracted by the words. So I put that upside down. <laughs> Quite like how that looks. And then what I did, I haven't shown you on this channel yet, but I got some aquarelle watercolors, <clears throat> really cheap, also at the action store, and I I mixed some colors together until I liked. Uh, the color the shade and what I did is I I, I always see Kira from simply creative Kira uh, use those distress inks to uh, Sort of color the edges of her paper and I tried to do that with watercolor Obviously, it's a lot darker, but I do kind of like the way that looks 
and then I also saw this at Kira's channel. Uh, she, you, she always uses the, or she sometimes uses those distress inks to also um, make, for example, these uh, vintage cutouts stand out a little bit more from the background. So, Kira, I learn a lot from you. Um, so these are two vintage. This is actually one vintage clip out from. I think I actually got this from Roxanne, the one that this meal will be going to. And I'm quite happy with this. I never really know how to decorate these. I've only made envelope flip books two times before. But this really works for me, you know, big items to cover up the background. So I made that, and this is just a uh, beautiful, I don't know, card, <laughs> I guess, that I got from Elizabeth in a swap. This is um, something that I got in a swap with uh, Sasha. I really hope it's Sasha. Um, so I don't know if she made this herself, but it's just a sort of vellum paper. This, these are flowers stamped on vellum paper or something, and it's stitch on, stitched onto this vintage book paper. And I really liked it, and I've had it in my stash for so long. And I thought that it quite, it matched quite well because of the vintage paper color and then what I did is I used some of that watercolor to color in one of the flowers as well just so that it coordinates a little bit more and then here um, I made a little collage with these stickers from these are from the same sheet and then these two are from a cut apart sheet little butterflies <laughs> I'm obsessed with butterflies it says hello dear Roxanne I use these letter stickers from Fleur and then I doodled around the page a little bit then we have the front. I will also show you what is in here. Um, so we have, this is again, as you can see, probably by the style, it's from the same sheet as um, these stickers, as well as this one. We have the farm stickers and some crystal and uh, some animal dots. I will show you what is in this pocket. So actually this is just a piece of paper from Flow Magazine, but I thought it looked nicer to have like some sort of a smooth background over the cat <laughs> because my letter is in every pocket in these three pockets I have three A4 letters and um, I wanted to separate them otherwise they would be too fat in one pocket so we have my cute letter paper with cats mm, and then in here are just some random items we have this die cat also from Elizabeth this one I don't know I got it in a swap I think project life card some uh, sticky ribbon and this quote <clears throat> that says, you are amazing. And this is also a sticker. And I was hoping that she would put this in her journal as like a daily reminder that she is in fact amazing. Then this is um, just a piece that I tore off this paper. So this is a leftover piece and I put it at an angle again near the upside down so that you wouldn't start reading it. Or at least that's what I tried to do. And then here in the bottom we have some of my uh, Nouveau Crystal Drops. I wish they would sponsor me. I mention them so often. <laughs> I feel like I'm sponsored. Um, and then a vintage stamp on another butterfly. And this is just a card that I cut and I used my corner punch. And we have a um, one of the super cool paper clips from the Paper Gang box of an airplane. And again, I also had one of the paper scraps to cover the letter. We have another part of the letter and we have this little die cut that matches this color maybe i should use it for the envelope i don't know is that it yeah that was everything in this pocket maybe i should put it back okay and then oh, one more and then this pocket uh, just simple doily or animal dots um, paper punch sticker i quite like it don't want to overdo it. And then in here we have again the letter, again the flow paper. And then <clears throat> I use this, um, I use my circle punch to punch out this from a paper pad, paper paper that I have from um, Hank Pink Paisley, I think. The Moonstruck pad. These two pretty labels, die cut. Anything else? No, that was it. This, um, I didn't decorate it too much because I love these flowers so much. Just the new crystal drops 
and then this little tag that says a dream this is my handwriting i'm quite pleased with how that turned out there's a lot in this pocket we have um some sequins or sparkles i don't know i never know how you call them some pretty colored stars <clears throat> um this is a wax seal stamp wax seal wax seal i guess and these are all some stickers that i thought she would like for fall or autumn there's a lot of them mm, and then this is so annoying to get in there so i'm not going to touch it too much this is the silver foil that you can use for decorating the deco foil that i got at the action and she found the gold one i found the silver one so we decided to swap a little bit then this is just a um, deco leaf <coughs> little tag and these are some beautiful stickers that i actually received in the mail today and one more of the fall stickers and that's everything in this pocket so that is the letter and all the goodies and now oh, i have one more goodie i have this which is so special and precious and i'm so happy that i found them this is a an original uh, air mail like an original vintage air mail envelope and this, it's really like really really thin and she's as obsessed with like vintage stuff or finding cool things as i am <laughs> or no she's actually more obsessed because i do like vintage but i also like new stuff a lot <laughs> and um, i think she's more in, into the vintage if i'm correct or vintage style things she's not a fan of pink so i know that she will love it as much as i do so i'm going to send her one and I'm just going to close this with washi tape and then I'll put everything in this envelope at the end of the video and I feel like I'm forgetting a lot. I finally found some vintage music paper at my last uh, thrift store haul if you want to see a video about that i will put the link in the description box down below found some really amazing things to craft with and i'm quite curious by the way uh, whether you guys uh, like to craft with a vintage stuff as well i personally don't always like it uh, or i don't always like receiving it i think i mean i have received some vintage themed flip books before and well it really depends on who sends them, <laughs> whether or not I will like it. Um, but to craft with, I, I genuinely will enjoy. And um, yeah, to go with that vintage music paper, I found half a blue doily that I can use. I have some of these purple blue-ish flower cutouts that I, I think most likely I got them from uh, Roxanne herself because she has a lot of those and I'm just finding matching colors and you may also realize that at the top of the screen you can see that I already picked out the stamps I wanted to use and they are flowers and a butterfly in the right color and the paint you see on the right was that uh, watercolor or aquarelle paint that I mentioned before And for me, decorating envelopes or mail or whatever usually is really like this. It's either uh, testing out a lot of different things or moving everything around until I'm completely satisfied or uh, throwing everything out and starting all over again, which is what I'm actually going to do with the label that I'm showing you here. So I also have these uh, butterfly cutouts 
from Roxanne. I have been looking for a butterfly encyclopedia or something, you know, vintage with drawings for so long. I can always only find them with pictures and for some reason I just, I don't like pictures. I just want the illustrations, but unfortunately I can never find them. And as you can see, I threw out that, uh, that label that I wanted to use for the address and instead I decided to cut my own label from the same paper as that music paper so that it would sort of match and then to make it stand out a little bit more I use some of that watercolor to uh, you know make it stand out a little bit more I guess <laughs> I cleaned up my kitchen table so because the mess was getting a little bit too bad but yeah the vintage uh, butterflies I got them from Roxanne I either she sends them to me as a pen pal gift or I buy them from her because she has a D-stash page. And then I cut apart one of those vellum envelopes and I use my paper punch to punch out some vellum heart shapes, which I think looks really, really nice. It's like a subtle touch. And yeah, I really moved the butterflies around a hundred thousand times and that's just I got a tiny bottle with like a needle, I think they're called needle bottles or something. Um, and I just put in some regular craft glue because I'm getting really fed up with uh, glue. Then I'm just putting everything in the envelope. I also added some craft papers, you know, just for fun. <laughs> I had a little bit of weight left for the stamps I used, so I thought, why not? And I actually decided to wrap it up with a purple ribbon, even though most of it was blue. I thought that looked kind of cool. <laughs> Okay, and believe it or not, but I actually am cutting a small piece of the footage here now, I think, because I made the wax seal the first time. I don't know where I'm cutting the footage, never mind. I made the wax seal the first time and then I messed up. <laughs> I waited too long and then I the, um, the wax was already sort of like setting and I couldn't press the stamp down anymore. So I was, luckily I was able to peel it off carefully, luckily. So I made it again and that time it actually didn't work out. <laughs> so I added a lot of white because I had, as you saw a second ago, I had these dried flowers, really pretty. They are from our holiday in Malaga. Of course, <laughs> I had to dry some flowers. So I added some, a lot of white, some lilac, some blue. And I doodled on the envelope with that pretty 
white jelly roll and this is just a close-up of the envelope of course <laughs> As you can see, I also added some doodles and a stamp. I mean like an ink stamp, not a regular stamp. Do you get it? <laughs> oh yeah, and here, this is where I cut the video. As you can see, there was already some purple down. And you could also, even if you looked closely, you could see the previous flower being uh, poured down with the wax. So there's now actually two flowers in there. One's visible, one is not. And for this wax seal, I'm using a flat stamp. So then you can really, really see the, uh, the flower. And then what I did, unfortunately, I added some more wax to sort of fix the circle. And I'm not really happy with that because you can actually see that I did that. And this is the final look. As you can see, I also dripped a little bit of that blue wax on the paper. I really love how that worked out. I'm so happy. I don't know if that's bad to be super happy with something you made, but uh, uh, yeah, and this is one of my favorite envelopes I do, I've done so far. So I really hope you guys like it as well. If you like this video, obviously don't forget to give it a thumbs up, uh, comment if you like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I really hope to see you guys again very, very soon. Scheduled videos every Monday and Friday, and who knows what I might do in between. Okay, bye-bye.